Hello? Hello there. Hi. Sorry, microphone died. Welcome to another live stream, this time in the Outer Worlds. I'm kind of excited for this. I was just sitting here listening to the opening, uh, the main menu soundtrack, and it sounds freaking great. I don't know why I didn't really, like, get into this game before. I just didn't feel like it was for me, even though I love similar types of games and different franchises, of course. Yeah, similar franchises, essentially. Um, but... Yeah, this will be the first time I'm playing the Outer Worlds on the channel. I've played it on or off stream before. Like I played it a couple times, but I could just never get back into it after the first time. And I want to give it a fair chance because it's made by the same developers of New Vegas, and I absolutely love New Vegas. Um, hello, Lateralis. Hi, it's been a while. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. So let's give the Outer Worlds. The chance it deserves to really wow me. All right, had to turn the music down quite a bit. It was loud, but also really good music. Um, we're playing the Spaces Choice Edition, so this I actually got for free. Thank you, Epic. Comes with all the expansions. I might play them eventually. We'll see. Uh, just depends on how this main playthrough goes. New game. Um. See, I feel like I should play... Wait, hold on. No, let's do normal. Supernova, damn. Uh, what does this change? Oh, I guess this is like kind of the equivalent of survival mode, it looks like. Yep, can't, can only fast travel to your ship. Yeah, mm -hmm. It sounds like it'd be a challenge. Let's play this on normal. I'll make the text a little bigger. Uh, we'll keep subtitles on, of course. And here we go. I will be listening to all the conversations and everything so Why I can actually pay attention to the story. I'm going to treat this like it, I'm playing Alcio, this for the first time. The only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. So I'll be removing the, web, removing the webcam for like cutscenes. Thanks to the comfort mm. and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Ten twenty-three. That's the day the bombs drop in Fallout. I wonder if that's a little minor teaser there. Cool. Josh is in the chat, welcome. Saying hi, yeah, because you're doing D&D &D today. Have fun with that, of course. Thanks for dropping by and leaving a like. All right, not Rick from Rick and Morty. of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. So, this looks a little different than I remember it. This must be remastered or something? Um, because it is like the full edition of the game. With the expansions included it looks different it looks good really good like holy shit uh, I did notice the frame rate was a little low but that's fine because everything looked great besides that so I actually don't know what I'm gonna do here and for the fallout games I would normally randomize this stuff but I actually do want to play a build in this that I think is gonna be fun <sighs> okay this is the part where I kind of like got really confused so we got strength i think that's pretty self-explanatory at least if you compare it to other rpgs that's the equivalent of strength in fallout um dexterity i think that's like 
It looks like it's agility, but also a mix of... Oh, no, yeah, that that's like agility mixed with perception, it looks like. Well, in Fallout, lockpicks falls under perception. But also, this game, multiple things fall under different categories. It, two, multiple categories, essentially. So this looks like it's a... Yeah, that's like agility. Oh, okay, body, mind. Okay, that makes sense. Um... So this is intelligence, this is perception, charm, and temperament. Temperament improves your health regeneration. Oh, okay, so this makes sense. So this is strength, perception, uh, this is endurance. I think that's endurance, essentially. And then this is charisma, and then we have intelligence and agility. We just don't have luck. Okay. That makes more sense now. But, of, of course, some things fall under multiple categories. They get affected by different things. So what kind of build do I want to do? I could do, like, one build specific to one of these six uh, attributes. Because you can basically... Let's just hope you're handy with a gun. I could do this. Start from the very bottom and in each of them. Uh, and I have 12 points, and I can increase Yes, you look like you could okay. take a beating. So basically, do I want strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, or agility? Which one do I want to do? Um... Hmm. I'm trying to think of the various Fallout playthroughs that I've done that revolved around special and I've never done anything past uh, I think I started a charisma playthrough but I never finished it so I think I want to do charisma but also not just charisma personality in general so what if I just did this you could get away with all sorts of illegal activity we could do that. So that actually improves two-handed. I'm not a huge fan of melee. So we'll make that one good. Okay, so uh, persuasion, lie, intimidation, inspiration. Any of those fall under here? There's persuasion and determination. Is that? That's not under here. So persuasion. Inspiration, intimidation. So that's heavy weapons. I could do like a heavy weapons build, but I'm focusing a lot on on the charisma aspect of the game. I think I might do that. Heavy weapons it is. Because there's heavy weapons. As well as here. That'll help with hacking, science. Lockpick. Engineering. Okay. Okay. I think that's good. So we're going to do a heavy weapons build where uh, with a major focus on charm for like the other part of the game. So like not just specifically combat focused. Uh, so this will be good for your companion ability refresh. Oh, okay, so we can start. Sp we could just spam that then. Positive faction reputation reactions, uh, less negative faction reputation reactions. Okay. A little bit of health regen, extra headshot damage and weak spot damage. More carry weight, a little bit more melee damage. I'm not, you know, I don't care about the melee part. All right, let's do this. So I've got two point points available here. A pugilist. Right, I remember exciting. this. So, you select. You start with this, I think. What I wouldn't pay to see you challenge the chairman to fisticuffs. And then after a certain point, uh, these will stop increasing. I think it's. It might be twenty actually. After a certain point, doing this increasing we'll put them those all. Marksmanship scores to good use. Oh wait, no, no. I think this is only this one time. This is like your tags in Fallout. So. 
Yeah, these are like t the tags, essentially. So let me do range. You are going to paint the system red, my friend. And dialogue. Someone with a talent for exploiting insecurities. Okay. I think that's how that works. Because then after this, you normally just put the points into each one, I think. I don't remember that much. I guess I'll see later. Oh, and then these are um, traits. Okay. Determination. Drinking effects. Block. Persuade. Shock damage received. Engineering dodge. N ray damage received. Food effect duration. Inspiration. That one would be good. Science. Melee. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to either take this one, cashier, subgrade, non-supervisory, what the fuck, or this one, food effect duration. Oh, it's only 3%? No signs of monsterism. Mm, lucky you. You can only take one. Okay. So if I remember correctly, as you play the game... If you your character goes through certain things, like I remember, if you break your legs a lot, you get a, an additional trait um, that you know affects your your character because you you've taken so much damage to your legs, or or whatever. Like various different kinds of situations can cause that. I'm thinking I take persuade. So cashier, subgrade, non supervisory. No transaction is finished without a smile. You live for a a chunk of a bit of a bit cartridge getting inserted right right side up what the fuck am i reading the redemption of loyalty points and the promise of a good day come back real soon but by now are more than empty words there's a promise and a standard you intend on carrying to the frontier so i think that's just plus persuade which is can i go back it's it keeps it all yeah, it's, it's part of charm. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep that one. So that'll help with bartering, I'm assuming, and other charm-related stuff. Um, This doesn't matter. I don't care that much. I can randomize it. Jesus Christ. Uh, Because I'm going to have a helmet on, and uh, you... I don't really care much for first person character customization it just i mean you can play in third person but i'd rather play it in first person um actually that last one was kind of cool damn it oh god wait can i go back man i can't remember which game it was that actually like saved it oh oh no oh no this is like the joker <laughs> Oh yikes! This is this is a keeper right here. <laughs> it's literally the Joker. Oh no! All right, we're playing as the Joker. Does Joker have Riz? Joker? That's my name. Yeah, I've I think I've made the Joker. <laughs> It's strange, he uses machine guns and rocket launchers all of a sudden. Not, you know, minions to do all of his dirty work. Okay, let's begin. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. It made a sound effect like it crashed. Please power down your engines and prepare to be bored. Not likely, bootlickers. <sighs> Initiate skip jump. Oh no, his ship. It's broken. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down. 
Yo, I'm very excited right now. I don't know why. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Is something wrong? Am I going to oh, turn yes. into goo? <laughs> Not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! <laughs> there I could definitely see the charm and uh silliness. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? A little bit there. Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting I guess for this you. Isn't the really cut scene, but whatever. He's to be your uh, may move the webcam so actually. Uh, not to worry. Um, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing let's keep it out of the way of, of that sort of thing. You'll like the him, dialogue I'm here. Sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as Hopefully soon that's not as in you the way. Land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. We will Entering atmosphere. Ow. It's like the beginning of ODST. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Oh. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh. Oh well, no sense in oh boy. go to waste. Big yikes. Hawthorne, won't Hawthorne mind taking his ship. doesn't seem very before, smart. Huh? Well, it doesn't matter because sure they're not alive I anymore. Trusted the fellow. Might have gone after Holy the crap, this game looks beautiful. Shame about the whole squashing. Is there a photo mode? Thing. Idle That's camera? Oh, go. okay. I don't think there's a photo mode, unfortunately. Wait, this isn't in third person, is it? Like, at all. You don't have the option to, I don't think so. No, I think this is fully in first person. Okay. Yeah, yeah I know how to jump. There's no slide. Uh, actually, that might be a skill you get later from a perk. Hello. How's it going? Oh. Uh... Big yikes. Anything else around here? Yeah, that's it. Move along. Nothing to see here. Get some help. Uh, no, I've played this before once through. But that was like years ago. Uh oh. It's happening. Okay, that was loud. Hold on. Uh, uh, effects. Let's turn that down a bit. Sorry about that. I should probably turn the master down as well. You've been 
frozen for a while. Let me know if that's too loud or too quiet. Right, we gotta dodge essentially. Okay. It's basically a double jump, but Ow, I broke my legs, I think. Oh, you do regenerate, right, yeah. Because of uh what was the skill called again? Um Fuck. If I if I'm gonna play this game. I need to start calling it by what it's actually called temperament. Okay. Which is your endurance, essentially. Let's call it temperament. You, come here. Hello. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that's so sp Spacer's choice is like the discount brand of this of this universe, from what I can tell. I love that they called the the uh like ultimate edition of the game Spacer's Choice. Is there a better choice version of the game i hope so but i guess we're stuck with space's choice medical five sit still i'll patch you up <sighs> this like guy looks very one. different hope you they don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report they definitely space's remastered this like it looks so different help. yeah his face is very different than from what i remember Hope you don't- I, I gotta start reading the dialogue. I need to keep that in mind. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange from my report. Uh, oh, that's what he said. Okay. Um, Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. How are you feeling? What happened to you? Spacer's what? I- maybe my character doesn't know what Spacer's Choice is. Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just um, barely scraped by with my life. Was... Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Was the gun in the, the holster when it misfired? Maybe keep your finger off the trigger until it's out of the holster. What's this about, um, uh, about marauders? What were you doing out here? You're hiding in a cave and you blocked off the exit. You're as good as dead. Well... Let's not be mean. Gibbering, fleshy, uh, yes, this is what Space's Choice Edition. It's got all the DLC. With guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Persuasive. Lie. Or persuade one. Lie one, intimidate one. What does the number next to it mean? I don't even know. Does, is that the require? Oh, that might be the requirement. I got a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll go get help. Someone l grounded their ship illegally. I'll hunt them down. <laughs> You're an idiot. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. Yeah. Okay. Let's use like that persuade the gun. skill. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber uh, too for patching me up and all. All right. All spacer's choice weapons are. Wow, he gave me 111 bullets. Malfunction. You've tried the best. Now try the rest. <laughs> spacer's choice. Thirty percent less likely to malfunction. That's, that's funny. Uh, can you tell me where we are, or where I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a spacer's choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. I... Knowing what's in the salt tuna... I, I think I'm good. Alright, I'm off. Whoops. Misfired. Um... Hold on. I smell loot. <laughs> there it is. Oh, wait, that's just him. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna take all your provisions. I remember there being way more. Are you hiding loot from me? Wait, for real? I thought I remember there being more stuff here. Oh, doesn't matter. Damn it, my ears! <laughs> oh, what just happened? Phineas. Can you hear me? What in the hell? This... Oh, shit. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Hey, time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. 
Pressing the time dilation, uh, tactical time dilation button slows down the world, give you, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your time dilation meter very slowly while moving and attacking drains it faster. The TTD meter refreshes uh, slowly over time. So this is basically your VATS equivalent. That's easy to remember. I didn't really use this much when I first played it. Oh, right, I'm not supposed to be damaging enemies right now. Oh, well, fuck it. It's a different game. It's not Fallout. Normally, when I do these these types of games and I have a specific build, I, I try to stick to that build. So, like, heavy weapons. Um. Oh, yikes. I don't have enough. Yeah, heavy weapons, I would only be able to use heavy weapons. But I'm not going to do that for this. Let's just have fun. I'll stick to the heavy weapons build as soon as I, you know, have enough heavy weapons and ammo. Uh, I'm confused. I feel like this is supposed to be a tutorial. But I don't have enough. Was there another one over here? I feel like it was supposed to be a tutorial box, essentially. But there aren't enough. Oh, yeah, here it is. I knew it. I know he was hiding more loot. Alright, don't die. May need to turn the sensitivity down to just a smidge. So too high. Uh, just a tiny bit too low. 16 might be the sweet spot. There we go. This is way better than the hacky minigame in the Fallout games. Holy shit. Uh, okay, let's... What, what do we got here? Melee. I'll, I'll, I'll keep a melee weapon handy. Okay, got it, damn it. Uh... Right, so let me go here real quick. What is my medical? So earlier I had that uh, uh, dialogue option medical and it said five. So I'm assuming. Maybe? But then I had like lied, persuade, and intimidate one. I don't know what the number was. What it mean? What it meant? Essentially, next to the the speech check. Essentially, well, ow! All right, nobody saw me miss all those shots. Give me all your loot. Um, oh, there it is. Why did this one explode? Huh. Let's just make it down to the ship. Hey! Get over here before Hello. you get killed. How's it going? Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. <laughs> Call on that rung leech. God, the things that the these people worry about the most. Spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. It's just a landing violation. Let it go. So I heard. I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. Really? How is he? He'll make it. I helped him with the pain. Mm. I think he'd get in trouble from that, if I remember correctly. Still a moron. I'm hoping you're a little brighter. <laughs> Holy shit. Of course I am. I'm a superior officer. Stands to reason, don't it? Just you watch. I'll cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Okay. Ah, this is where the fun 
fun happens. Yeah, I don't know what this number means. Persuade five. It, it might be the skill. Maybe later I'll start seeing higher numbers. This is definitely still tutorial stuff. Do Spaces Choice guards back down from a challenge? I bet you could get these marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. Guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction survey. Alright. Or just call him a coward. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation... You know what? You're right. <laughs> it's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Hell yeah, that's the that's the spirit. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Wow, that really does not last long. Why is his voice, like, altered? Is it the helmet, probably? Oh, that's a bunch of marauders that are out of the picture. Um, right, that's weapon wheel, essentially. <gasps> Did I not just kill, like, a bunch of them? Where'd the bodies go? Am I blind? Why is it so hard to see them? They were right here, weren't they? Alright, I give up. Maybe the minimum requirement. Yeah, so that that makes more sense. La Please later, for sure, I'll start seeing no uh, higher numbers. Oh, it's Ada. Hello. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return the facial expressions. I love it. And exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Uh, what are you going to do? Self-destruct? I love this interaction. It's so funny. <laughs> the face! Disengaging airlocks. Preparing to eject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two, one. You realize that we're on the ground, right? You are still here. <laughs> My deception protocols have failed. She doesn't have good riz. Disappointment. Oh, I need to get the ship in the air. Is this Hawthorne ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain See you later, Josh. Hawthorne. Thanks for joining. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hawthorne was supposed to meet me when I landed. Hawthorne's dead. I'm sorry. Your captain's a red smear under my escape pod. Jesus Christ. So that last option seems like it's usually, like, the sarcastic and or mean option. Um, Hawthorne was supposed to meet me when I landed. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. Hawthorne's dead, I'm sorry. I understand. Mm, big sad. I will require some time to process this information. I feel bad for the... Thank you for the AI patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? I get it. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne or we can or you can't fly. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently oh, inoperable. The sad music our playing. Our drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Where am I supposed to find something like that? Engineering. I doubt I'll find the part like that just sitting in a garage. Astutely Let's get that XP. However, 
The probability of locating a power regimenter within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This I will try. identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Oh, that ship name. Um, can we change that? Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. I like it. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck Why is it called the Unreliable? That might be something I can ask later. Stay alive this time. Level 2. Auntie Cleo managing... Yeah, I fucking know. Okay, so... God damn it. Yeah, so I think you you keep... When you get these points... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me revert that. So, um... For now, when you add a uh, skill point, it actually just applies it to the full set of skills that follow under underneath that category until a certain point. I don't know where that point is. It might be like 50. I'm guessing it's like 50 maybe. And then after a certain point, it will no longer let you do it per category. You have to select the individual one and add it like that. Okay. So let's get everything to 10 at the very least. Because there's some that aren't. And then I have four more. What is the green? I'm guessing that something is affecting that. So plus one. Oh yeah, that's the plus one for my trait. And this is from the hibernation suit. Got it, okay. Uh, so technically that's only 20, uh, 29. So now it's 30. Uh, oh yeah, let's get the lock pick up. All right, I'm happy with that. Oh my God, that's a lot. Perks, Jesus Christ. Uh, base health, tactical time dilation, meter increase, uh, damage when alone in party, walk speed, sprint speed, weapon and armor durability loss. Right, that's a thing in this game. Uh, companion crit chance, science meter, er, science weapon magazine size. Vendor prices, XP from companion kills, like the ability to fast travel when encumbered. I'm good with for now. Uh, more... Uh, faster recharge rate. This one increases the meter. Okay. Carry more uh, additional ammo stock on vendors. Additional consumable and, gen and general stock on vendors. Uh, armor rating increase and damage per flaw, which are the um are, are those traits that I mentioned earlier. You get from from playing the game, like you break your legs a bunch of time, you have a, a new flaw, essentially. That's what they're called. Um, I kind of want to go for the vendor prices, but I'm not too concerned about that. Shut up, bone. More carry weight. See, the, the, here's the thing. I I need to stop literally picking everything up and I need to stop trying to sell everything I find. So I'm not going to be concerned about carrying too much cuz I'm going to be I'm not going to be doing that anymore. I got to stop doing that in these types of games. And I'm not concerned about the vendor price increasing the prices or lowering the prices, I mean. Cuz I'm going to avoid like Literally hoarding everything I find and then selling it just to make a shitload of money. I think, is, is there anything that would help with the weapons, with the heavy weapons? 
I think I might hold off on even using the point, the perk point. Oh yeah, this interior is very different. It definitely looks like th this version of the game is remastered. It, it all looks very different. Lighting hey, is different as this well. This wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? It is now. Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. What pay? I don't have a fucking job. I don't have a job. Oh. Uh, you got all you got it all wrong. I'm a starship safety inspector. Awesome. I seize the oh, lie. The I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. All right. So long. So let's just fucking get over there fast. I keep clicking the middle mouse button thinking it turns it into third person. Playing too much Fallout. Um. So for this playthrough, I would like to get three main missions done per stream. Is that going to happen? Absolutely not. Not every time, probably. This I'm still on the first one. We got to get the power regulator working. Oh, let's avoid that guy. Some of these guys are actually pretty high level. Oh, yeah, I need to save. Forgot about that. Is there a quick save button? I'll make sure there is. Quick save. It's already set to enter. Awesome. It has my uh, my save settings from the original version of the game. Interesting. Or my controls. Fun. It must have downloaded the game in the exact same fo uh, folder, essentially, and kept some of those custom files. Or, um, custom settings files, essentially. Whoa, hey. I'm gonna ignore that. That's a side quest. I don't want to do that. Do I not have, like, stamina? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. Wow, oh, that's fucking bright. Holy shit. Welcome to Edgewater. It's like the fucking streets of London over here. What are those rats? I'm sorry to any British people. Um, here's the store, I think. That looks like more like a bar, actually. I don't know you. No, you don't. I'm new. Uh, Alex Hawthorne, Captain of the Unreliable. Uh huh. The Unreliable, you say? Never heard of any company supply ship with that particular name. I don't know what you're about. But this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hard-working company folk here. Sorry, one sec. Why are eyes like that? What the fuck? Perception. Something going on here I should know about? Charm. And what a fine establishment it is. Hmm. Am I that easy to read? Yeah. Did that not give XP? Problems lately. Loyalty issues. Lines in the sand. I know where folk in Edgewater stand. But you. I don't know you. If you're gonna have a drink, I'd like to ask that you do it within the premises. <laughs> Can't have you taking drinks over to those deserters. Fine by me. Let's see what's on tap. Coming right up. Um, no, there we go. So let's sell all of this random shit here. This is all the same. Right, that's a helmet. Oh, right. Are there like factions affiliated to these like in New Vegas? I don't think so. I don't know what'll happen if I <laughs> if I put it on and it actually has like a enemy faction affiliation 
What the hell is this? Sprat hide? Yikes. Alright, let's get out of here. God, it's so dark in here. Let's continue the first mission. Excuse me, pardon me, don't mind me, I'm just gonna go in the elevator. Nice elevator music. Please Oops! I need you to explain this good lesson. The grease monkey, Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do oh, he looks very different. I Holy shit. I was given no warning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Uh, you must be the town boss. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I don't live here. I think you may have the wrong idea about me. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. My ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. <laughs> I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Uh, let's hear it. Frying myself? Let me guess. You want me to do something for you before you will help me? My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. All right. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Mostly abandoned? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Tell me what I need to do. What a surprise. I never would have guessed. I don't think people will like will take kindly to losing their power. No. I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Tell me what I need to do. Oh, why? If you want me to solve your deserter problem, I, chain, I charge by the head. Hedgewater is struggling we haven't hit our production quota in years if we don't meet our quotas this year the company might shut us down for good i need those workers back at their stations how can i help none of what you're telling me is my problem i've seen edgewater i don't blame those workers for walking out neither do i the fault was entirely mine i pushed them too hard my hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, okay. Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. All right, Reed, I'll see what I can do to help. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. Yay, a companion! You will need an administrative... She's the dog meat of this game. <laughs> I am trusting you with mine. That's fucked up to say. Miss Holcomb to guide you, if you'd like. I forgot the name of this voice actress. But she's great, and she's in a lot of games. Great! I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so... Is this? I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you. Can and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask. Of Hold stranger, on. I know. I'm curious. Uh, voice actress? Ashley Birch. Who plays? Uh, 
Um, Jesus, that's bright. Who else does she play? Oh, she plays Aloy. That's why. Uh, specifically in Call of the Mountain, which is that VR game. No, she's also Aloy in the other games. I knew that was familiar voice. Um, wait. Oh, it just keeps going. Holy shit, she plays a lot of like animated characters. All right, let's get uh, let's get going. Got a companion. Stop staring at me, weirdo. Okay, let's go to the bo hey, botanical listen, whatever labs. Sorry. Sorry. I you just want to get out of here and you likely don't want to tag along like me. Oh yeah, it's it just, is definitely Aloy. Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters on account of it's his job and and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. Yeah, I I kind of get a little bit of Aloy there for sure. Uh, this is what the des uh, this is about the deserter. So, what's the other side of it? Figures. Reed didn't exactly strike me as the most honest soul. What he said seemed pretty straightforward to me. If I want to deal with new uh, nuance, right? Yeah, nuance. I wouldn't be this heavily armed. Let's move. Okay, I could just straight up leave the conversation. This is about the deserters. So, what's the other side of it? To Mister Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. I can't blame anyone for wanting to leave. This town's got issues. How well did you know the deserters? You worked with them. You were friends or what? Did you know this Adelaide Ma Reed mentioned? I'm, s I'm sure the deserters are very fine people. So what? Yeah, that last option always seems like the option I would not choose personally. You can't blame anyone for wanting to leave. This play this town's got options. Life's hard here. Or issues, I Especially think it's an option. Don't fit in so well. We're one big spacer's choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is Vicar. Um I'm good. I I don't think that's necessary. To the botanical gardens or labs or whatever. Oh, this is Is there a way to like fast forward time? Probably not. Let's do this in the in nighttime. Unfortunately, salt tuna cannery. The the only source of protein a business worker needs. I'm gonna guess that's the only source of protein that's available. All right, let's head out. Hopefully, I can find a machine gun of some kind soon. Just any heavy weapon would do. This is very pretty at night. <gasps> Marauders. See, one, one thing I don't like about the the reticle is that white circle, or the two half circles, I guess. I kind of wish those weren't there. Um, per body? Got all. all of them? Okay, nice. Um, did you really have nothing? Wow. That guy chose to fight me with his fists. So, I don't really care about, like... How does open? So I can't... Oh, there's the details. Okay. Um... 
My weapon is... Oh, that's a two-handed. Mine, mine has a uh, higher DPS. Oh my god. All the tutorial stuff is kind of annoying at this point. Right, because condition is a thing. It affects damage. Got a rifle. I do like the rifles in this game. They look cool. Right, let me put on that armor piece. Or a uh, helmet. Can you not? Oh, that's part body. Oops. Oops, I gave that to her. Oops. Um, how do I... Oh, there we go. I think that's the brand underneath it. Okay. Let's just keep going. Don't oh, I don't have a lot of ammo, I just realized. Oh, shit. Wait, machine gun? Ow, oh, that's explosive. I just gave myself a concussion. Wait, where's their gun? Wasn't this the one with the machine gun? Where are their guns? They're just like disappearing. Oh, do their guns not always spawn? Mm, I don't like that. I think one of them had a machine gun and it's gone. There's no flashlight, is there? It's kind of dark, but it's not that bad. Alright, let's go, I guess. Damn, I'm pretty sure one of them had a machine gun, and it's just gone. There's probably loot all around me. I really don't feel like going in, in each building. Ow. I keep missing. My body, I'm so sorry. I'm going. How do I use the attack again? Her special attack essentially. Uh I don't even know. Right, you can tell her to move around. Oh, yikes. Big yikes. Alright, moving on. Are their bodies, like, disappear? Oh, no, here's one. Looks like their bodies are just disappearing. I think I'm just, like, somehow missing them. Is she gonna follow? Be right there. Sure. Heading back. Okay, I think that resets her to follow me now. It's a lot of housing out here. What happened? Like, why is there so much housing and it's all boarded up? Because of all the marauders, maybe? I think this area looks nice. I hear the labs. Boy, normally it would take me hours to get to this point. But I'm actually like attempting to speedrun this. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. I don't know you. No, you don't. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Uh, what's your problem? I'm looking for Adelaide. I need some answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Oops, hold on. I'm looking for the geothermal plant. Know anything about it? Reed said something about former workers living out in the wild, uh, wilderness. Let's try this one. Yeah, that's us. 
And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. I, yeah, I understand. Where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. Is no that what offense, they call greenhouse? I've got a lot on my mind. Uh, we've all got problems. I just got shot into space. Got shot into space. From space, you mean, but whatever. You and me both. I'm trying to figure out how to, I'm going to repair my ship. Well, look at you. Buzzing around the aether with your very own ship. Rest of us gotta make do with the ground at our feet. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. What? Where did this conversation come from? Better question is, where did it go? Jesus. Uh, I'll keep an eye out. Sure, why not? It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She Search could be her anywhere. home for clues. Well, if that's not a main quest, then I don't care. Appreciate it. Honest. I'm not going to look for her, potentially. Um. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, these are two separate quests, essentially. So this one is diverting the power, and this one is specifically about the... Uh, the deserters. Reed asked you to deliver a message to Adelaide and her deserters come back to town to come back to town because he's cutting off the power. Adelaide and her people are camped out in the botanical lab north of Edgewater. Well, I'm already here, of course, so let's do this. And then head over to the plant. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, this room's pretty. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? Um, you must be Adelaide. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just, you got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I a what now? An old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Tobacco? Uh, yikes. Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? You're living off power that belongs to the town. Come back to the cannery. That's it. Reed asks you to consider coming back to town. He's willing to make amends. Something about coming back to town or losing power. I, I wasn't really listening. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. Mm -hmm. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Reed asked me to d divert your power over to him. He mentioned a geothermal plant. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Your camp has a power regulator. I needed to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. I'll consider it. What have you got against the town? I'm not looking to get mixed up in your problems. I just want to fix my ship. A hero to you, maybe. 
Hmm. You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Big what sad. What did to this child? Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. You made your point clear enough. I'll see what I can do. I don't much like you throwing that in her face to get me on your side. Jesus, that was hard to read. What do you have against people trying to make a living? Uh, let's say I help you. What happens to Edgewater? See, in Fallout, these people would be considered communists. They are very much against um, the corporations that are in charge. I don't like my... Um, you made your point clear enough. I'll see what I can do. I trust you will listen well, to your conscience. Jesus Christ. Why is that loud? Was that the end of that quest? Uh, no. Divor so there's two different main quests that do the same thing, essentially. This one is for fixing the ship. This one is just diverting the power in general. And dealing with the deserters. Okay. So I know what I'm going to do. And I'm going to divert power to Edgewater. But I'm also going to convince Reed to fuck off. Because that is an option. And then you have Adelaide take over. Essentially saving the town full of innocent people. But hopefully also making their life better within the company. Alright. Let's go. I don't have any fast shovel. Is there fast shovel in this game? I think there is, yeah. I'm actually like... <gasps> uh, not that far. It wouldn't make a difference if I fast traveled. Yeah, this place is very pretty compared to the outside. There's uh, some special magic over here. I wish I can get rid of that marker. I don't want to talk to him. I don't really care. Actually, I feel like I should because it's a companion. Alright, let's go talk to the vicar. Grab him as a companion. I don't know if he'll join us now. Oh, I think he joins you after you get the books for him. That's a side quest. If you're falling sick, I don't want you near me. Don't worry. I wouldn't do that. I thought he was talking to me. Let me just talk to him so that I can get this marker off my screen. I'll probably play off stream a little and get the books for him and yes, have him join the ship it? later on. Outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's toss ball predictions, <laughs> the quickest way out of town. Oh boy. Parvati wanted to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. What? I thought you could oh, talk to him. I just threw under the bus. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've had <laughs> a conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Fix the geothermal plant. Cut off the power to Adelaide's deserters. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. So what do you advise? What do you think of Adelaide's group, Vicar? They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? So what do you advise? Great. Uh, right, great. Can we wrap this up? Oh, God. Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. 
send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Is that even possible? Right, just talk everyone into coming together. I'll keep that in mind. Sounds like I've got my work cut out for me. Thank you for your time. This has been a waste of okay. Uh, is that even possible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. I mean, we've already been kind of by it. And why is that? I've been outside. I'm not impressed. And I can handle myself better than a vicar. Yikes. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. Oh boy, here I we go. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies Oh my god, you scared me, dude. Walls. My retrieval Thanks. efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Got me some Should candy. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Um, the book's just hentai. I'm, I'm guaranteed. I'm guaranteeing that's hentai. A uh, handsome sum, you say? Tell me more. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the yep. lower corner. Hentai. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? I'll look for your book. I'm pretty sure it's like multiple books. Thank you. Oh, if wait, no, no, no. Free, this is a different you can book. always find me here. This this book is is just one, and then there's another side quest for for someone I forgot who it is. Oh, I think it's like an engineer in with the deserters group. They ask you to find a series of books. Okay, that got rid of that off the map. Oh, can I fast travel out? Please tell me. What the fuck is this? Oh, you could turn, you could just like order a box to become a house. That's cool. I love that this is the spawn point for the community center. Facing a rock. Oh man, it's going to keep telling me about the fucking perk points, isn't it? Oh, I got tags as well. Or skills. Uh, skill points. Let's see. Okay, those are the ones that I'm like, I actually want to upgrade. I'm not going to upgrade a melee anymore or dodge or block. Um, yeah, hacking and lockpicking for sure. I want to get up. And right, this game does the perk every level. I I don't like that. <laughs> That's why I have perk every level mod available for New Vegas. I've always wanted to poke around in here. Uh, we may have problems. What do I do here? Well, there might be another way out. Oh. Incoming. Car body, careful. There we go. Oh, I'm being shot up from oh. that didn't work. oh yeah, weak point. And she's dead. Hitting the weak point. There we go. Don't blow up like in the other games, please. Holy shit. Um, hold on. So Parvati's dead. Hit game. My armor is fucking jack shit. Is there anything that will, like... Buff my stats. These are all healing. So that will increase my natural healing generate uh health generation, okay. 
That increases the max health base. Two minutes, okay. I need something that will... Oh, critical... Oh, that's for da uh, snipers, never mind. Okay. Plus personality attributes. Less dexterity, charm, perception. So personality, that's the... Cr Personality. So these, so charisma and, and endurance, essentially. Or charm and temperament. But minus... What? Minus dexterity, charm... And perception? Wait, what? So I lose charm, but also gain charm? What? How? Oh well, whatever. Whoops, I didn't mean to take that. I don't even know what that did. Oh, body attribute. Here we go. Oh, that hurt. The rifle's so much better. I think this must must all be junk items. Hey, you're alive. I don't know why I just didn't melee them. Why does it always open up default to her? Uh yeah, that's all junk. Those are explosive. Toss ball card, Aaron Dubois. I'm guessing that's like the in-universe equivalent of baseball. These are lootable. Oh, I thought these were lootable. They look like health, uh, loot containers. They're actually just explosive. Just looking around. Don't see anything of interest. Uh, you can buy stuff from that. Oh, yikes. Ah, those that's what loot containers look like. Well, that's what some of them look like. Alright, let's head inside. Oh, wait, can I go in here? No. It's locked. Hopefully I can find some good weapons in here, because the ones I have at the moment, or well, the pistol at least, is ass. Flywheel. I'm assuming that's also junk. <laughs> I could reach that. I can't access that, of course. The control room should be off to the right. I hope we're doing right. Oh god, this does nothing. <laughs> Ow. What? You had nothing? Holy shit. This pistol sucks. Alright, she said over here. I don't know what the weak spot of these robots are. Can I do this already? Redirect power. A plant status. Saxus report brought to you by Spaces. Warning, structural damage detected. Please notify your designated supervisor. Uh, error. Please activate all three electric- Yeah, I figured there's more to do here. Three switches. That'll be easy enough. Oh, first. So what's going on over here? This is probably lore. I don't care that much at the moment. 
Just looking for money, ammo, weapons. New weapons. I don't have any hacking tools. Big sad. Oh, I did see a door over here. Hold on. Oh, that leads to the outside. Okay. Right, 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 right. Can't go up there. Um. Oh, there is a ladder. Hold on. Uh, shoddy? Oh, it's a proper, like, pump action, I'm assuming. Or semi-auto shoddy. Doesn't look like a pump action, though, honestly. Probably more lore. Oh, revolver! Ooh. Why does it always default to her inventory? That's a cute little revolver. Ow! My ankle! I'm gonna get that flaw, <laughs> the one that I was talking about. Get out of here. Damn it. Unlock door. Enter passcode. Okay. Actually, forgot he gave me the password. Give me all the ammo. Damn it. Right. Oh, boy. Yep. The weak spot's way, way, uh, better to aim at for sure. Shiny servo. And also, hitting it with something stronger definitely helps. I didn't say anything about keeping you quiet. What are you talking about? Oh, it's a magazine fed. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Is there a heavy shotgun by chance? For chance? Ow. There's a lot of drugs in this universe. A concerning amount. Lore! Young Spacer's Guide to Mechan Mechanical De uh, Engineering. Yeah, it's somewhere in here. It's one of the three that I need to get for that engineer. Um... Yeah. Over with the d deserters. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Okay, let's get rid of the rifle. Um, I kind of want to keep the revolver and the shotgun. I mean, I don't always have to use the machine guns. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, was I already down here? I don't want you to take a piss. No. Oh, here we go. Please be good. Criminal activities. Uh, I, I, okay, I think it was just warning me that doing that in certain situations would be bad. Right, this guy. He's uh, a bit paranoid. I mean, living next to a geothermal reactor might do that to you. You're probably very dehydrated. Damn it. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. Hey, here we go. I should have done a revolver build. Off. 
Parvati, why aren't you helping? Got it. Oh my god, I almost died. I need this bitch to fucking turn around. Um, so I need to figure out these controls. I know, I think, uh, left control is actually her attack. Oh, it's right there at the bottom, idiot. Yes, left control is her attack. What is X? Want to go? If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil? Hmm. Oh, let me uh reverse revert her uh coming. Here they come. Oh god. Hell yeah. This feels like a waste of ammo. That was awesome. Good thing this is his light ammo, which is the same as the pistol. Because there's a shitload of it. There should definitely be some heavy ammo machine guns or, or heavy weapons and uh, energy weapon, heavy, energy ones as well. I'm not sure what the ride is. All I know is the decisions are hard. Any more loot around here? Oh, I think we're done. There's probably more, but I'm not too concerned with grabbing every every little thing I find. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Oh yeah, let me quick save. Keep trying to do that. Or just save in general. Anything back here? Once we do this, there's no going back. Hey, oh. mister? Yep, there we go. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I wouldn't mind hearing your opinion. <laughs> or I could just ignore her. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough salt tuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. I see your point. I think I'm ready to make a decision. Reed tells me Edgewater is going to die without workers in power. The desert is our community. I can't just destroy what they built. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. I'm glad you did. I will hear... I like hearing from you. Uh, don't worry about it. I was barely listening to you. Yikes. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. <laughs> yikes. Alright. Redirecting power. Irreversible procedure. Of course it's irreversible. That's just how these things work in games. We're going to redirect to Edgewater. And try to get the deserters to come back home. Oh. God, it's so fucking bright. So that's one mission done, but there's uh, another one we can complete here shortly. Skin cream. Oh, I think I might have picked one of those up earlier. Hey, folks. How's it going? Where is everyone? 
Oh, there they are. Oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Hello? Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's oh. dead. Yikes. Whoa, Miss Parvati. <laughs> hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. He's too thirsty. Are you uh, for his own good? Uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so. Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, we never oh, went I'm for that sure. guy, Higgins. I'm just along with this fella here. Yikes! I've seen you wandering around here. You don't look like you're coming from town. Uh, I'm passing through. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, what I meant was you're reasonably well armed and don't look stricken with oh, plague. Don't mind the machine gun. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. <laughs> Engineering 5. Never too late to start learning. I could give you a couple pointers. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. Mm. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins yeah. and outs. Those are good. I miss one in the power exactly. plant. I can go back later and also get Higgins out of there. I know the old community. I don't, actually, I don't remember if you actually can tell him to get out. another one back in town. I just didn't go down there. I completely forgot. I'd be greatly obliged. I'll let you know if I find anything. Would you? I'd be grateful. So I remember there's one in the power plant, one in the community center, I think, and one somewhere else. It might be one of the houses. What's on your mind? All right. Uh, I'll do that off stream. I'm gonna do a little bit of off stream play for sure. But none of the main store, of course. Now let's talk to her. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power. Killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil. And my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? Reed needs his people back. This isn't personal, Adelaide. I need your power regulator. You killed my god. I'm going to be honest. Destroyed my community. Sentenced my flock to a lifetime of slavery in Edgewater for a power regulator. Well, shit, I wish it was personal. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over. She's sad. And the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. I'm willing to deal with Reed for you. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? Well, I'm not going to kill him. This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must. Oh, I God. him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Reed isn't going to just leave his post. I'll need some help convincing him. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell them how I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me. And I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. And I know that secret. The secret is oh, human Oh, yeah, never mind. Corpses. She tells you. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker... Don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. Yikes. You think that'll convince Reed to step down? 
I have got a means to cure the plague, and I will not share that cure until Reed leaves town. Those are my terms. Uh, okay, what happens? What happened to you, Adelaide? All this anger had to come from somewhere. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the it's first. It's not really a plague; in. it's just severe malnutrition. Locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to. Hear. Some soylent green, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Although the people weren't killed to be turned into fertilizer, it was the already dead bodies. Oh, this is food you can pick up. Mock apple, huh? All right, folks, get the fuck out. Otters can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. There's nothing left for you here. It's time to go back to Edgewater. The matter's been weighing on me. I'm staying put until I know what's become of Zoe. Don't want that question haunting me all the way back to the cannery. Motherfucker. I've got questions about Zoe. I, can. I need to know what sh where she might be hiding. Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. You souped around in her room. Little ways ago. She was always obsessing over her serial dramas. Wanted to see what the fuss was about. I think I remember doing this before. Maybe the marauders took her away? Could be. Dangers are plenty out there. No telling why marauders would steal somebody like Zoe. Got no useful skills, far as I can tell. Yikes. That's just mean. Any chance you could put me somewhere specific and not just out there? Marauder gang just moved into the districts a little ways east. Their numbers are growing. Gotta come from somewhere. Let's change the subject. What is it? Alright, I think I have to go get Zoe. Well, let me see what happens if I talk to this guy. Any luck finding one of those manuals? No. Uh, leave? I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. I mentioned those manuals on mechanical engineering. Suppose if I had one of those, I could go back to read and make a real case for myself. <sighs> so that's how this game's gonna be. I gotta do side quests to complete the main quests. Fuck my life. Alright, let's go back to the power plant. And get that one manual, and also talk to Higgins, I guess. Um, I really don't want to go in the community center. I think he says he just needs the one to at least get a start. I can, because the community center is full of fucking marauders, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, so I can do that another time. Let me just go get the one that's down here. Move, little shit. If I remember the way. Oh, right, that's a thing. No, 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 just leave me alone. How does down? Whoops, put that away. Okay, good. Not gonna break my ankles. You're not real. You're not real. Hey, buddy. How's it going? You're not real. Fuck. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot. Stop. This guy is just like fried his brains by de being near this power plant. Uh, the the thing by me, the reactor. Calm down. I'm not trying to hurt you. Oh, sneak. Yeah. See, I don't think I. So there's that number there. Does that mean I'm three below? Maybe I don't know. I'll check in a sec. You can talk. The Phantom's never talked before. <sighs> I knew I shouldn't have eaten that sprat raw. Oh, yikes. There's a heat source next to you. This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Oh, I must be hallucinating from that then. Uh, I'm not, you're not imagining me. Of course. Do excuse me. 
I experience brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the phantoms of my imagination. Yikes. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. <laughs> what is it, what is it you do here? Back away slowly. <laughs> What's eating you? Oh my goodness. Uh, what is it you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Oh, Sprat Wrangler. He's Saltuna critic. He's Aether Wave personality. He's referring to himself board, in the first Galactic person. Defender. Sisty Pig Tycoon. Uh oh. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. Why did you come back? Uh, you were an engineer? I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Uh, if you worked on these mechanicals, you must know a way to stop them. Uh, I think they're all gone. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. Um, sounds like a good time. What? Persuade. I can deal with mechanicals. I made th made it this far, didn't I? You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I <laughs> discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. I think they're already all dead. Mechanicals follow the behavior of their logic modules. Someone tampered with it. Yes. That's exactly Give me right. that XP, baby. See, you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. I'm somewhat of a mechanic There's myself. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, now that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here. Let oh, me this is right part now. of the main quest. It's an optional thing, though. The tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. Oh, what did I just ask? Forgot what you were going to say. Me Did too. I just ask him how to eat a sprat? Give me some of that sweet, sweet sprat meat. Don't mind me. I'm just going to steal your loot here. Where's that book? There it is. Um, Is that everything? I think it is. Well, let me do this thing real quick. Optional, remove read. Wait. What? Reprogram the automatic. I didn't do that, but apparently it's complete. I don't even know what I just picked up. Wait. I think I it already says that it's complete. What's eating you? The tail. Definitely start with the oh. tail. Oh. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. He's just crazy. What happened to this play? I don't care that much. Forgot what you were going to say? Okay. Me I, too. I, I think the, the, that's done. That part is done. I think because I killed all the robots. So I don't need to worry about it anymore. Even though I didn't technically do it, the requirement. It's no longer necessary. So I got the book. Now let's go find Zoe. Wish you could fast travel out. Can you? Uh, no. Damn it. I guess you don't really like tell him to like Get out? It's safe to leave now? Something like that? Okay. Map, please. So, where are we going? They said east, so I'm assuming it's over there. God, this screen is so dark. Or, not dark. Light. Bright. Hurts my eyes. So they said to the east. Is there a way to leave a marker on the map? No. Active volcano. Man, this sky looks cool, though. With the two moons. 
That is a third moon. Damn. Her body falling? Yeah. Oh, all three of my weapons use the same type of ammo. Oh. Huh? Got it. Inside voices. Gonna find it. Coming. Oh, oh god, they have got canids. Are those supposed to be puppies? Oh, the kill cam. Hell yeah. So I'm actually going to go ahead and just remove these other weapons now. Get that shit out of here. I'll use the rifle though because that is a different ammo type I think. Yes, that is. Oh, that should be better than what I have. Alright, I'm not paying attention to this. Do do do. 17. Damn. That's a pretty cool looking helmet. Or, yeah, helmet. Rest in peace, puppy. Pupper. Oh, canid. Why are there so many dead ones? Oh, that one was feral. I probably don't want to eat that. I'm gonna guess this is the place. Why did why is so much of this region just like like abandoned? All of this clearly is civilized. Used to be civilized, and then it got abandoned. Like oh oh shit! Like Space Detroit invested so much into this place. Why wouldn't they want to defend it? Can you not? Look at this. Hell yeah, Parvati. That was awesome. I'm running out of ammo here. That machine gun is going to require a lot of ammo. I think you get the kill cam when you're out of combat. Alright. Hey, you're alive. I didn't want that. I, ju I just don't want this. Like, oh, I'm like nowhere near encumbered. That's fine. Okay. I just don't want to carry like everything I find. And then sell it. Because then I get into that habit again. Like I do in every Fallout or Elder Scrolls game. Or, I guess just Bethesda games in general. That specific style of game. Open world game. So there should be... A young lady around here that needs rescuing. Man, she killed a lot of them. I didn't even see this happen. These guys die. Uh, I wonder if the book may be around here somewhere, one of the other books. This looks like it might have the book. This actually does look kind of familiar. Just gonna steal that. Blast off bits. Chocol asteroids. Oh god. <laughs> Yikes. <gasps> Those look like you could take them, but I guess not. Lots of ammo. Frozen dinner. Why does it look like cake? I don't know what that is. Why? Well, I don't know why it's next to the toilet. Let's see if the girl is here. Zoe? I don't know if she's here though.
figured I would have found her by now, but I don't see her. Or any sign of her. Oh, there she is. Hey, how's it going? Wow, you crossed them all off. Like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. What? Teach me your ways. Oh, God. No, get away from me. You're Zoe. Your people are looking for you. What? You mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature-loving nobodies? I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you oh. are a sight to be Oh, home. no. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. My character's been in cryo sleep for so long, it should be illegal, the, the age cap. <laughs> I think my character's like at least 100 by now. I've been sent to find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. Okay, well, you're going to die then. I can't imagine you're happy out here. Food's awful, company worse, and no serial dramas. And no There's serial There's that persuasion. Dramas. Hell yeah. I'm thinking about going back. I just got to know if Lord Cavendish really is the masked marketeer. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me. Wait, you had I've stuff? Got that to look forward to. I need you to clar clarify something for me. I'm great at clarifying. Uh, are you a prisoner here? Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. Okay. I'm impressed. How'd you pull it off? I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. Okay. Uh, yikes. Okay. This girl's trouble. I'm getting the fuck away from her. <gasps> so now I can just go back. And hopefully convince them all to get the fuck out. Well, <gasps> all of them except for Adelaide. I need to go talk to Reed for that. Did the one mission ever clear? No, I'm still technically working on both. Right, and now I need the power regulator. So as soon as I finish this, I get the power regulator. And that's two campaign missions done. Luck, I still need to do the manuals? third one, ideally. Today's your lucky day, Thomas. I got one of the th of those data pads you wanted. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? I think it's part three. The elusive part three. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. I appreciate you going I also through fixed all that, that problem. In fact, I put aside something special on the off chance that somebody'd search out those data pads for me. Sure, I'd be glad to take them off your hands. Oh, never mind, I don't have any more. All right, so now uh get the fuck out. Any luck finding one of those manuals? I think you have enough, right? I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. Oh, you can't skip this. So don't work at the cannery. You wanted to be an engineer. You know something? I think you're right. The town could use another engineer, and I'm on my way to becoming. Yeah, considering Parvati's going to come with me, most likely. Water. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little workbench and my very own toolbox. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Adelaide's never going to forgive me. Not in a hundred years. I go crawling back to my old life in Edgewater, and I'm as good as dead to her. Don't worry about that. You know where to find me. All right, so he's been convinced. Hey, Zoe's been found. I'm not in the lightest of humors right now. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened anyway? She joined up with a band of marauders. They hadn't they hadn't hurt her. Zoe joined that's, up with a that's band surprising. of marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. <laughs> well, I've heard stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. Yeah, get the fuck out. The matter's been weighing on me. Zoe came back, but I couldn't keep her from slipping out in the first place. 
Who's to say I could keep marauders from slipping in? I don't see us lasting more than a couple of weeks out here. I'm loaded. Yeah, I guess I can't it. skip it. I didn't We're know gonna that. have to make our Listen, Oh, space bar. Okay, there we go. To read, hat in hand, begging for our old jobs back. Well, Adelaide's not going to forgive us. She never talked to us again. Leave Adelaide behind. No. Uh don't do anything hasty. I'm going to try to talk to Reed into something down. Sure. Suit All yourself. Right. I'll be here. Okay. Uh can I grab this yet? Okay. I'll be back. God, that's fucking bright. So, okay, let me familiarize myself with this place a little bit. Barbershop. I know this is a side quest for that cantina. Where was the general store? There it is. So it's right below this sign here. I'm not allowed in here. Not since the vending machine incident. Holcomb. Got my eye on you, girl. This Holcomb ain't allowed in this establishment. Not since that little incident. <laughs> what did you? What did she do? What incident? Ask her if you care. I'm running a business here. I won't touch anything while we're in here, Mr. Moreau. I promise. That's funny as fuck. Let me see what you're selling. Music to my ears. Let me get rid of all this shit real quick. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna keep the rifle just because it's a different type of ammo. Light machine gun, light assault rifle. Okay, get rid of these. Oh, that's buying. Yikes. Let's just get rid of the melee weapons. The revolver is light ammo, right? I think it is. Oh, I have a different revolver now. Oh, this is energy. Okay. Yeah, light. Oh, right, the machine gun I can't sell because it's in my, uh, my, uh, it's, like, equipped, essentially. Can I buy back what I just sold? Because that rifle... Oh, wait, no, that's the shotgun. Never mind. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna keep that, then, because that's a different type of ammo. Get rid of all that. And then the junk... What do you got here? I need the hacking tool. There we go. These are for computers. All right. I got another melee weapon to get rid of. It's not the best choice. It's spaces. I I get it. Music to my Jesus Christ. It's like no different than a cult. All right, there's plenty of ammo for that. Definitely want to find. Oh, I should buy ammo. Work your jaw on some spacers chaw. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got perks, perk points, whatever you want to call them, to grab. Um, I could do this where more ammo is available. And actually, that might be a good idea. Because I'm going to be... I'm going to need a lot of ammo for these machine guns. Especially the light machine guns. The light ammo ones. I'm not too concerned about the price. That's fine. Since I'm going to be carrying a lot of machine guns, I'll definitely grab that eventually. Not now, though. Um, I'll just slowly increase everything over time. Okay, I'll save that last perk point for now. All right, ammo. It's not the best choice. It's. <sighs> I, I get it. Come on. Music to my. Buy ammo. Light ammo. Oh, that's all he's got. Yikes. I don't need hemi heavy. No, I do need heavy. That's the rifle. I think it is. 
Yes. I think it's just the three ammo types. That's it. Oh, right. I should give Parvati better weapons, too. I forgot about that. I need to give her... I should probably get her, like, a, heavy, a better melee weapon. What does her current one do? 120? I don't think her weapons degrade, but I should definitely get her a better ranged weapon. Maybe, like, a shotgun or something. Especially if she's doing melee. I think she's melee based. I think I can actually see that here. Oh, right. She's got perk points, too. Okay. Aggressive. Let's make her aggressive. Controls the follow distance for this companion. We'll keep her close. So that way, because I think she's melee based, right? Because her... Her special attack is like a melee attack. So I'm pretty sure she's supposed to be... A melee based companion. Yeah, her melee damage is way higher. So let's have her focus on melee then. Solely. And have her be aggressive and close by so that she can keep enemies that get super close to me uh, from getting to me. So I'll, I'll keep an eye out for good melee weapons for her. We stop staring at me. Okay, he's not gonna like this conversation. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? I spoke to Adelaide. She won't come back as long as you're here. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. A change of leadership might be what this town needs. I am a Spacer's choice man. My father was oh boy. a Spacer's choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned up freelancer. But it is my home. Adelaide's people aren't getting sick with plague. Adelaide made it clear she won't return unless you leave. Yeah, let's tell him what this. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. Jesus Christ. These corporate, or at least corporate people are just like the worst. This town doesn't eat anything but salt tuna. Of course you're going to get sick. You are disparaging our parent company and it is not appreciated. We are a Spacer's Choice Saltuna cannery. We eat Saltuna here, and only Saltuna. I'm pretty sure it's your food that's making you sick. You need Adelaide's garden. What exactly are you putting in those cans? Processed, liquefied, retextured Saltuna uh. rendered in a chemical bath, of course. Well, mostly Saltuna. We've been experiencing a Saltuna shortage, you see. So we've had to improvise. Yikes. Wood chips, uh, some mushrooms, okay. bit of sand, toss some canid bits. In sand? Our it all tastes like saltuna in the end. That can't be healthy. Health is a state of mind, friend. Afflictions in one's body are reflections of afflictions in one's work ethic and attitude. What the now fuck listen, happened to humanity in this universe? Adelaide has fed you, but plagues are a simple fact of life. Adelaide's find a way to grow food. She'll come back if you step down. You will excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? This is also volcanic land, so how is the soil so fucked up? Look, Reed, all I know is that it involves some really complicated math and it works. Um, I could lie for the extra XP. She's been using human corpses in her fertilizer. I'm going to go for the for the XP route. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I think it's the same her. reaction, more or less. My life here is ended. Jesus. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the He back. sounds like he's going to commit Sudoku after this. Jesus Christ, what have I done? 
You don't have to do this, you know. I do. Adelaide's found a cure for the plague. And she knows how to tend to crops. She's what this town needs. I think she's what the company needs. All the company towns need her. And her, uh, and her gardens. This can't be easy for you. I don't care. Fuck off. I, I could have just fast traveled. <laughs> I love that the elevator music's still going. <laughs> Oops. No. I'd love that to just play the whole time. That'd be funny. Alright, everyone get the fuck out. Seriously, though, like, they should wall this place up and use it as, like, a secondary settlement. Look at that. The snakes come back. Excuse me? I talked to Reed into leaving. Come back to Edgewater. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on. 11,000 XP anymore. for that? Holy You're shit. To me, you know? Deserter's Even reputation. Oh, there's a reputation system the for other. them specifically. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. Edgewater is better off with you running the place. You telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater? Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. All right, take care. Jesus Christ. That was loud. Okay, level five. Um, I, is, I got something. Adelaide something? Watch? Oh, it's just a... It's a valuable. Okay. I got the thing. Let's get the fuck out of here. Um, real quick. Return to the unreliable. Find the three volumes. Nah, I'll get I'll get Vicar Max later. Off stream, most likely. Um Do I need to talk to her? Like Will she just straight up come with me now? What am I looking at? Whoops. Put it away. Is this your ship? Jesus Christ, you scared oh the shit God, out of me. She is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, um, gosh. <laughs> it's called the Unreliable. Me babbling. Don't ask why. I, I don't even water, know. I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. I can understand not wanting to go back. You didn't seem happy in Edgewater. You'll ne you've never seen a you've never been on a ship before. I guess she was born here. Those people in Edgewater need you. Oh, well, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. Oh, that wasn't the option that I chose. I chose the first option. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. I have no idea what and she just you said. Need a pair of eyes watching your back. I can do that too. What do you think? Sure, why not? I'm glad to have you along. Pick a cabin and yours. Sure, why not? Yes. I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, Mister. Captain. I can call you Captain now. <laughs> <laughs> I got a captain. Call me Alex Hawthorne, I guess. I don't fucking know. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Moving on. Hey, Ada, how's Captain, it going? What can I do for you, Captain? I have the power regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? No. 
Oh, I guess I do. Engineering. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you. Maybe we should get a, the cargo bay a spare part the once we go to a... Once we go to orbit. <laughs> Okay. Awesome. It seemed like there was no power regulator there before. Ow. So I don't know how this ship worked before. What can I do for you, Captain? I've installed the power regulator. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Let's do it. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas. Wayne. That was cool. That was better than the, uh, the, like, ship taking off sequence in Starfield. Way better. Good, I've been waiting to hear from him. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. <laughs> How are you feeling, by the way? Ada's right there. In that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal what? side effect of thawing. I drippage? Uh, get to the point, Phineas. I've been feeling a little lightheaded. Also, I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. What? I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm okay. Sure you're fine. Sure, whatever. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. I don't right. think they're mistakes. I think they're intentional. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me. Help us find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the ground breaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Fine, I'll have to. Uh, I'll go talk. Uh, God damn it, I can't talk. I'll go have a word with Gladys. Why do I need a nav key to land on a planet? Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Oh, awesome. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. Okay. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kalkelly. Fine, I'll, have, I'll go have a word with Gladys. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. Okay, awesome. I'll put it to good use, thanks. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, Why can't don't we just trust talk or text or something. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Uh, let's leave. Okay. It, to me, it sounds like the board is basically vault -Tech. Typhon, Hephaestus, Scylla, 
Eridanus, Tartar. These are all, I think, um, Greek names? Or like Greek mythology names? Uh, except for Terra, too, obviously. And Monarch, I, th I don't know. Um... Okay. Is that it? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Uh, launch? Goodbye. How do I, like, get it to go? Oh, there we go. Idiot. The groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Awesome, we're docking. Let's go. The groundbreaker. Making progress today. I honestly... Normally, I don't think I'd be able to reach this part or this far. That's not the point. Hello, this new companion. One of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. <laughs> Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get to with me again, you little back bay brat. I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. I need a drink. Alright. I'll see if I can get Felix later at some point. I don't know. Customs and inspection, right this way. Oh right, this is gonna be a problem. Identification, please. Um, Alex Hawthorne? My name's Joker. No, let's let's go with Alex Hawthorne. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. Okay. I'm about to ruin your day. Yep, I figured. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Oh, okay. I'm going to go kill the board then. Uh, I mean, what? How do I get this resolved? You'll want to take it up with Udon Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. Udon? Ooh, His office sounds is delicious. His located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Uh, any idea why my ship was impounded? Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. Oh. <laughs> I shouldn't be mentioning it. Yeah, they don't oh, want to be a manager or anything like this that. This year, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Uh, great, I'll go talk to him and straighten this out. You take the starch out of him? Well... You won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Sure. Wanda Dorset over in sick bay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. <laughs> Got it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um, no. I'm looking for someone named... Oh, actually, yes. I'm looking for Gladys. Yes. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Okay. Be seeing you. I don't think that was the option I chose, but whatever. Sick bay is over here, right? This is Halcyon News. Is this This is a fucking barrack. Holy shit, this place is huge. Vodka? Gross. Bless my heart. Oh, this is Gladys. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. I thought it was the ship you captain that I was supposed reason? to talk to. Or did the neighbors tell you how good Right, she's the black market are. vendor here. Made without a single natural ingredient. Or <laughs> Just like store-bought. <laughs> Made without a single natural ingredient? Yikes. Phineas sent me. He said you could sell me an F key to Stellar Bay. 
Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Right, I should have, you know, groundbreakers of free port. Should be quiet about it. control, for the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key, and they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. I have a feeling I'm probably not gonna have enough. Oh yeah, I don't even know how many I have. Any chance of a discount since Phineas sent me? Phineas, that old kook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime. Uh, I tell you, no. Real light on his feet. Real light in the wallet too. He still owes me a small fortune. Oh. Laws. Maybe I should charge you double. Oh God. No. Uh, tell me about this opportunity. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. Bits? You've got qualms. What is this, Twitch? No qualms here. Let's hear the details. Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Oh, that, yeah. Say no more, I'm in. Uh, why was Roseway abandoned? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Uh, maybe it's some sort of automated message? Edna didn't seem to think so, and I trust the dear girl's judgment. Well, maybe not in men, but she knows for comms. So, like as not, someone's been down there recently. And if someone set up shop in Roseway, I'd wager they got something to hide. Okay. If it's a corporate town with something to hide, why the SOS? Sounds like an opportunity, all right. I appreciate a man who knows one when he hears it. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I remember to find this. a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Absolutely, I agree. So I need someone to sneak around for, for you. <laughs> My goodness, aren't you quick on the uptake? <laughs> I like that. Should you find yourself responding to a certain distress call, and in so doing find yourself in possession of certain valuable corporate secrets, well, then we ought to have a chat over a pot of tea and my famous cookies. Uh, sure, why not? Law bless your atoms. Here's a copy of my atoms. They've been blessed. The coordinates. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Oh God, is she hitting on me? I found a handsome ceramic manda pillar at a salvage auction last week. I have no idea what she just said. So I think the discount is actually related to the reputation of the faction. But does that mean, so she's the, the this is the groundbreaker. So if I go to a different vendor, is it gonna be the same percentage? That's what I'm wondering. I don't think that's a vendor. Lost hope, like, I think this is the bar. Seeking relief from the heat? Till June Lay gets those radiators fixed, I've got the next best thing. Oh yeah, that's that's the captain, I think. What ain't I got? It's the same. Okay. So uh yeah, it's probably best to sell things when you uh. When you have a higher reputation. Oh, God. Oh, I only have 2,500? Fuck. I got a long way to go before I can afford that nav key. Um, okay. Let's do this. Oh, shit. I've got a lot of points to put in. There. Get that to 30. One of them to 30. I don't care about those two. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, this is a bit lower, so I can do that. Perks. Um, okay, I I guess I'll require five previous perks. Okay. I'm definitely going to need the increase carry away because I'm going to be using a lot of machine guns at some point. Best to find yourself a part-time job. Yeah, I should do that. I, I'll do that off stream probably. So it's looking like I'm not going to be able to finish this mission today. Unless she just straight up sells it to me after I do this main, main quest. Well, it's a side quest to complete a main quest. It's the same usual bullshit with these types of games. You gotta do other stuff before you can do the main stuff. A fast travel encumbered. Sprinting faster would be nice. Actually, I wonder if this would help with the machine guns because they fire so many bullets so quickly. I imagine that does take a toll on the condition. Actually, I, I'm going to take the base health one. Because I do seem to be dying very quickly. Let's go talk to these people over here or go this person Byzantium, you gold -plated bastard. Jesus hello ah yes Wheeler messaged me you were coming he must be the captain of the unreliable a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne and you are not he has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer <laughs> oh god I gotta tell him Forget Alex, why'd you impound my, imp, impound? Impound my ship? Uh, I'm going to ring your, oh god. Alex is dead. Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Yikes. I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, Alex. I feel bad. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. Um, something tells me that, uh, Udam and Alex were together. Uh, what was your, okay. I don't want to ask these questions, but I don't want to be mean. He was my dearest friend. My only friend. Is that you friend in quotes? No, that picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. Oh. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Um, <laughs> I actually don't know, so I'm just gonna go for the lie, because ah, I can. That's just like him. I didn't check. Such I didn't know that. Sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? Oh, I don't think you want to know. He was eaten alive by feral canids. He died in a an escape pod accident. Trust me, you don't want to know the details. I yeah, that's probably better. You're quite right, of course. Best not to pry into such dismal things. But it was quick. I promise, it was quick. He did not suffer. He didn't even know. He was an idiot, though. I will say that. Again, I'm very sorry. Can you get... Can we get back to the topic at hand? So, about my ship. Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there. I've removed the flag from your ship. 12,000 XP. Sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go... Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. Oh. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? Interesting. Why is the board so interested in Wells, anyways? You haven't read the posters? He's a terrorist, a thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm. Like I said earlier, um, the board is basically vault -Tec. Or I guess the government as well. Um, and Phineas in Fallout would be considered a communist. But not all the communists are, you know, bad. If you don't follow the norms of society, you're going to be called the communist or the outcast. Or the terrorist in this instance. So they just don't like Phineas because he's doing things that are against the board, but not necessarily against the colonies. 
they're just painting him bad like a, like he's the bad guy essentially why do you think i uh, why do you think i know about anything about wells well alex knew or he said he did and you have his ship maybe he kept some records around or a conveniently placed note on his bedside table why his bedside table specifically dude I know where to find Phineas. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lie. Well, th this isn't really a lie, but that's, uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh yikes! Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? What's this about the board having your head? Oh. It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Okay. Is there anything I could do to help? Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's, well, it's my white whale, I suppose. All right, I'll tell you where Phineas is. Oh, can I just, like, straight up betray him now? I can't tell you where Wells is. I don't want to betray fine. him. Really, it's perfectly fine. I want to play the ending where you side with now, him. If you've nothing else, please see yourself out. And then maybe like one day, if I, work. if I decide to do another playthrough, I can do the other ending where I side with the board. I know where to find. Okay, no. Yeah, I'll I'll do the opposite ending one day. I need to go. Oh right, the. Oh, I never grabbed the holographic shroud. Shit. I need to talk to the med bay person. Put that away. I don't think this is it. I think it was before this. I don't think it's here either. Security. It must be further back. Rhythm's knocking out bars. Spacious choice. There he is. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, here? this might be it. Oh, there it is. Keep me out of there. Please Another don't companion. Make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. She's making a scene. Something I can help you with? Uh. Take care. Wait, I think it's another doctor. Can I go back here? Is it her? Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Wheeler told me to tell you to get off his ass about your ship. <laughs> Did he now? Enough on that man. I swear his late mother'd be ashamed. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. I could try to find him. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. All right. Uh, that's probably not required, but it does seem like I'm going to have to do some side quests at some point. <sighs> so I need 10,000 bits. I don't know if I do the one side quest for Gladys. Would it, would it, she just give me the nav key straight up? Would that be enough to cover the 10,000? I have no idea. All right. Let me grab the, the, the shroud thingy and then go to wherever this place is. Later on, I'll probably do some additional side quests. I don't know. Why are there people staring at my ship? Oh, there he is. Hey, you got a second? Hey. Hey. We don't know each other yet, but I'm Felix Millstone. I was in the middle of a little discussion with the local authorities when you passed me by. I noticed your ship in port. Got to thinking you might be looking for some crew. So I wandered by just to take a closer look. 
Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine looking ship. Don't call me boss yet. The only thing it's missing is me. Um, you're pretty eager to throw in with somebody you barely know. Were you stalking me? I don't appreciate being stalked. Yes, I, see I that for absolutely option. am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. I've heard enough. You're hired. Uh, all right, Felix. Tell me why I should hire you. Consider this your interview. Temperament. If you're trying to convince me to hire you, you're going. You're going about it all wrong. Oh, okay. Well, where's the XP? Uh, can you give me a couple of pointers? Uh, you're all over the place. Just be yourself. Uh, don't beg. Tell me why you. Uh, why I need you on my crew. That actually, yeah, that sounds hey, about right. That's good advice. I like the way you think, boss. Besides, not like there's a line of folks standing around hoping to get on your ship. I'm persistent, I'm eager, and I'm showing initiative. What else do you want in your crew? What skills do you have, boy? I uh, I haven't made up my mind about you. How about an interview? I'm looking for a loyal bootlicker. <laughs> Flatter me like your life depends on it. Oh, God. I think I might do this playthrough where I, I try to do the nicer interaction, like the responses. And then the other playthrough, if I do another one, uh, I, I'll do the, the board ending i'll side with the board and betray phineas and i'll do all the mean and sarcastic uh commentary uh speech i i guess um how about an interview sure an interview that sounds fair i mean first time for everything right ask me anything you like are you good are you any good in a fight uh what's the value of pie oh god uh it's delicious <laughs> Mock apple pie and a triple kale crust, maybe oh, with a little God. cream on top. No, Classic. not that pie. <laughs> but I love that response. Perfect, you're hired. <laughs> um, what's your biggest flaw? The foreman told me my biggest problem was that I didn't take orders. I told him my problem is not with authority; it's with jackasses. So yeah, I guess my biggest flaw is that I don't suffer idiots. Hope that's not a deal breaker. Okay. Uh, it's not looking good for this guy. You want to tell me why you're out of work? I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me. Always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. And that's when you resolved your differences like an adult, right? That's when I broadsided him with a tossball stick. Yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman, and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Okay. Are you any good in a fight? Are you kidding? I love a good fight. One time, I took an autoloader's head clean off its servos with one swing of a tossball stick. You can count on me in a scrap, boss. That's a promise. It sounds like he's also a melee-based companion, but I thought that was Parvati. Sorry, Felix, but the answer is no. No, I'm going to take him with me. Because wow. you can have two companions. Huh. You don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Oh, wait. I think his Thanks, special boss. ability is You're the body slam. This. I think that's what it is. All right, come with, I guess. Whatever. Because you can have two. I might as well bring him. I do want to get them all at some point on the ship. I know Ellie is a companion. We passed her over at the doctor, the, the doctor's place. Where is this picture this guy was talking about? Oh, it might have been over here. Um. Yikes. I don't see it anywhere. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? I picked up this distress call. Can you play it back for me? Oh boy. Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... There's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth. The unemployed! For law's sake. The unemployed! Is receiving this, please send help. That's or funny. What? Oh, no! No, no, no! Yikes. Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. 
The embedded names are Anton Crane, Von Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Uh, I'm in the mood for some entertainment. Okay. Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Oh, right. Tell me a joke. I used to hate math, but then I realized decimals have a point. Ah. Uh, math humor. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. May luck be with you. I think I just lost a bunch of brain of cells. Alright, that's enough with her. Whoops, put that away. Oh, Scylla is now available because we have a side quest over there, too. So, I guess they can both come. Can we talk? That was like a microscopic a brain huh? aneurysm I like from, this that place already. Uh, from that math joke. Felix. Oh, no, he's got the heavy weapons, but he's also got... I think he's the body slam character, is he not? I think so, I don't remember. So, he's got a heavy weapon... Oh, grenade launcher. Can I have that, please? That's heavy ammo. You know what? Can I do this? Hell yeah. Now I get that grenade launcher. That's heavy ammo. Um. Oh, yeah. He's got a point. Does she also have a point, too? She does. Base health threat generated. Threat generated. Um, I don't think I really need the engineering. Mine is okay, I think, or pretty decent. And it's not my, one of my major focuses. And she already gives me plus 11. Holy shit. But yeah, it's not one of my major focuses, so if I don't have her on me, on the team, then I don't really need that. Um... I should probably increase her health and also increase her threat generated because then enemies will prioritize her when they attack. And that's what I want because she's the melee character or melee companion. She's got that sweet ass electric hammer. Um, Felix, on the other hand. Oh, okay. Felix, you just found a permanent position on this team. Let's just boost my persuasion. Because that's actually something I'm focusing on this build. Uh, I'm going to keep him at medium distance. You can do ranged and aggressive. Okay, his skills persuade, sneak, lockpick. Okay. Uh, drop kick. Oh, it's a drop kick, not a body slam. It's weird that he has a melee based, um, like special ability, but he's not like a melee based character. Although his melee damage is way higher than Parvati's. It's just weird because she also has a melee based attack. Or a special. Yeah. I should make him also do melee. 45. Fuck. What's her uh, range damage? 10. Let's just have them both do melee. Or you know what? Have them both close range or close to me mixed aggressive because then they'll switch it up yeah there we go they'll do both essentially and they'll choose uh when they do what all right i think this is like a, a little bit of a mystery i gotta solve here whoops let me do this That's the grenade launcher. Captain, something bit Yikes. 
Something with more teeth than is strictly necessary. Give me the other weapon. So that's heavy, right? Yes. Okay. I need to save here. I have not been saving at all. I'm making an actual save too. This look this looks very abandoned. Rapid dawn. Oh, this is a burst. This pistol's pretty cool. Oh, they dissolve. Score one for Felix. I don't really care or care for the meat. Take that, cause I don't. I think that's just junk, is it not? And is it even valuable? It is not really that valuable. Uh, neither is that. Uh, necklace. Wow, twenty-five. And a good old-fashioned hatchet. 44 damage. I'm good. I guess since we're on the same planet, this is going to look more or less the same as Emerald Vale. Slightly different, though. There's, like, different trees here, too. Oh, some pretty trees. Mmm, bread. The fuck was that? Oh. Give me the ammo at least. Okay, let's get inside. Oops, what did I just do? Okay. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to say this. Uh, please make sure you leave a like on the live stream. I would greatly appreciate that and it helps with the algorithm. Tactical shotgun. Mm. That's probably valuable. I'm glad that's not considered stealing. Oh, what the fuck? I done had enough of this shit. Oh, I'm just okay. the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. What happened here? Uh, did you send a distress call? Distress call? From here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Oh. Why the fuck not? Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. What happened here? Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Can you tell me who's in charge? Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. What were you doing outside? Uh, I, I, he said he's the tarmac guard the, for the launch pad, I'm assuming. Uh, you said raps broken? Did you, did you have them in caged up um forget i said anything about that okay oh before i forget anti cleos makes the best pharmaceuticals in halcyon better than nature not like that crap spacer's choice pedals all right this is a spacer's choice member here those are fighting words Chickens? Burkirk? I can talk to it? Why can't I pet it? They look like earth chickens. I wonder if they're descendants of earth chickens. Luxury apartments. Wait. Anton. Vaughn. Oh, right. There's three of them. Orson. You picked a hell of a day to visit. I'm Vaughn. Vaughn Cortez. Uh, Dr. Vaughn Cortez. But just Vaughn's fine. Really. Uh, where where were you when the out, uh, outlaws attacked? Outlaws? thought it was just rap, whatever they're called. 
over in the main labs. I rabbited back here when I realized I was hearing gunshots, not blown fuses. We've been cooped up in here, I don't know, hours? Too long. I have to get back to, to work. No jobs worth dying for. You're dedicated to your work. No, uh, let's do Dr. no jobs. Crane might say otherwise. Me? When those guys started shooting the place up, I was first out the door. I had to leave an experiment running at the lab. Something I've been working <sighs> on a long while. Uh, uh, get me ahead. Know what I mean? You already have a head. What are you talking about? Uh, we're likely ahead, uh, headed that way. Anything we can do. I've been extracting organic compounds from raptodons. Compounds that have um, benefits. Um, extract and how? What kind of no, benefits? Wait, maybe I don't want to know. What was that little smirk on your face In when you said situations. that? Personal situations. Where you might want to um, enhance your charisma. Oh, I'm in. That's my current build. Sure. Of course. Our lab south of here, down the road. Not the old public lab. The one past that, built into the mountainside. Second lab down the road. And when I get there... My equipment's in the lower levels, way in the back. I have a big room all to myself. Dissection tables and whatnot. It should have been running this whole time. Just grab the results and bring them here. That sounds like the thing that I need to get. All right, I'll head up there and keep an eye out. Great. Uh, this is really going to save my ass. Yeah, that sounds like a valuable thing Charisma I could take. Enhancing benefits he was talking about. He was just blowing smoke, right? Mm hmm. Doesn't matter. I'm sealing the plan. If I had to look at those yellow walls all day, I'd make a point to sleep on the roof. This place isn't so bad. Like, yeah, it's in ruins, but it's a more open space than fucking Edgewater. God damn, that, that place is awful. Um, where does be door? Oh, this is the weirdo. I remember this guy. Ah, outlaws, I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then... Oh. Quick, <laughs> he thinks please. I'm gonna kill him. What are you talking about? Aren't you with the brutes that attacked our lab? Aren't you here to pillage our supplies and leave our corpses to the raptodons? I'm here to help. Someone sent out a distress call. Oh, well, good luck. Yeah, we got the carbon link. Yeah, it's just a matter of forcing you here. Maybe I should just put him out of their misery. Of course, because I didn't. No, it's 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 a self interest. It's it's disgusting. You always gotta put it in the in the smell of the power of the cross. And of course, I they did. We're gonna get this solved. I mean, it's it's. How long does this last? Okay, there we go. H hello? Oh, uh, you're still here. If you haven't already, you might speak to Anton. He can point you in the right direction. What? Yeah, we got the carbon link. Yeah, it's just a matter of forcing you. Jesus Christ, I'm skipping that. What are you doing there? What does it look like? I'm preparing a personal defense device. Or trying to, anyway. I swear, if I look down and he's preparing like a... Like a bomb vest... <laughs> to put on himself and then commit Sudoku when they attack. Uh, science, if you've run a wire from a capacitor today, you can bypass that circuit and save a little power. I... Why, yes. I suppose I could. Thanks. I didn't know I had that much science in me. Need a hand? That looks pretty lethal. Are you allowed to mess with tech like that? Certainly not. I think he's trying the to commit Sudoku. Are busy with the outlaws, and Anton's busy holding in his case of someone hand. attacks him. Seems as good a time as any to get a bit of work done. Need a hand? No. Uh, well, yes. Well, no. Perhaps. I left schematics in our storage facility. As far as I know, the security commander hasn't found them yet. I admit I'd feel better were they returned to me. That's two items I can steal. Sure, I'll see what I can find. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? Mm, no. Blast. Well, good luck. I hope I see you back here in one piece. Good luck. Oh, yeah, workbench. Oh, doesn't this require... Bits? 
Oh no, just work part uh, weapon parts. Uh, why is this so damaged? I barely used it at all. Oh god. Right, you can level them up too. Fuck. Should level these up. Tinker? What does that mean? Oh, is that the level up? Oh, that's bits. Fuck. No, thank you. Insufficient parts. Oh, I don't have any at all. Modify? Is this even worth it? Magnum. Increases the mag size. Shock damage. Um, Actually, the shock damage on the grenade launcher would be kind of cool. If it's allowed to do that. Oh, it's the magazine. I like that it changes the color of the light on the on the gun. Shock damage, then I can deal with the robots. Become an engineering virtuoso to recover previously installed mods. Okay. Awesome. And then there's this one. Re Is this Oh, it's is this just like a suppressor for the machine gun? Okay. I don't really care that much about stealth. Not with this build. I can't even attach that to this. I don't care that much about the mag size for this. Alright. Let's get out of here. Oh yeah, what are your melee weapons damages? I thought I have... Oh, I was looking at their weapons as well. In that workbench. Okay. Alright, Anton. Let's see if he tells me about something I can steal. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. <laughs> okay. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? Why are these guys, like, so okay with being unalived? No, did you send the distress call? Uh, yes, yes. Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Under control. That's what you call hiding in an abandoned town surrounded, town surrounded by raptodons? Standard operating procedure for suits, boss. They're all a bunch of cowards. I'm not sure it's right to fault a man for trying to survive. Oh, they don't like each other. Let's hear him out before judging him. What happened here? An attack. One that I'd wager was due to the nature of my research here. Well, let's see what happened. But why cancel the distress call? What are you researching? I'm not at liberty to discuss the nature of the work I'm doing here. Suffice it to say that its importance to me, uh, to the colony, is immeasurable. Uh, work you're doing? Working by, working by yourself, are you? To you or the colony, which is it? Those need not be mutually exclusive. My work would benefit everyone, and not just within our colony. If you say so, would you like to tell me what happened here? Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us, shot up our labs, and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. If you tell me what you're researching, I'd have a better idea what's at stake here. You have a point there. It most decidedly cannot make the situation any worse. All right. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. I don't remember this part. Wait, this is all about toothpaste? One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? Please do. While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. Okay. You can couch it however you want, or however you like. It's just, it's still just toothpaste. toothpaste. Uh, diet toothpaste. Oh god. It's toothpaste zero. <laughs> Not just any diet toothpaste. The ultimate diet toothpaste. 
It's not worth your life. I wouldn't care if it was the ultimate rocket fuel. Actually, I would care. Oh, I'm certain it could be made into that as well, with only a few changes to its molecular composition. But you're missing the point. Let's focus for a moment, shall we? Even if you disregard the obvious value of Auntie Cleo's Apazap diet toothpaste in and of itself, we're talking about my career here as well. Apazap? Nice, is it not? Came up with that myself. It's a shame our marketing department is almost as befuddled as my co-workers here. Say no more. I'll remove the Cretans and retrieve your research. Want me to deal with the Raptodons too? Yes, but don't kill their mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere. Oh God, I remember this. Put them out. The <sighs> research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and key card. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original by the Grand Architect. Jameson, he's in the old lab. Who's Jameson? My protege. Oh I God! Sent him to retrieve some I remember. About, I remember this. He forgot about him until now. I feel bad. I'll find him. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were, and far too much paperwork. All right. I'll thank you not to mistake my ambition for callousness. I don't even know what I click clicked. All right, so I'm stealing all their research. That's what's happening. I'll get Jameson though. I'll bring him back. Doctor Crane's research, but we ought to find Mr. Jameson. He's got to be all alone and scared. What? I, why am I looking at tits? Alien tits. All right, let's go find Jameson and then steal all their research. Okay. I didn't know that thing was moving. Will this road lead all the way down there? Uh, Why is this like not connected to the road? What the fuck? Guess we're going off the road. But Sunny Smiles told me not to, to go off the road. It's dangerous. Why is there a box of loot here? Oh, it's empty. Oops. Right. I can't just like spam that like I would in, in Fallout to find people in vats. That would be a pretty cool mod though if someone added vats to this game as a mod. Ooh, what is this? Get some more mo uh, marauders. Am I wrong for looking at this colossal machine of destruction and thinking, Felix, you should hijack that? <laughs> Same. Here we go. Don't mess with us. This pistol's really good. Is there a machine gun version of this? Oh, they disintegrated. Rip. Nice to get a little fresh air in your lungs. Did one of them run away? Kind of looked like it. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Their rifle is, uh... Pretty cool, whatever that is. Oops. What do we got here? Oh, their fucking gun disappeared. I don't like that about this game. They don't always drop their weapon. Oh, it's an assault rifle, but they were beaming me pretty hard. Right, I should give Parvati... A better weapon. Oh, actually, I'll give her the shotgun. Hey, Captain. Oh God, I, I don't need to talk. I don't need to. No. no, stop. You gotta be. You gotta stop being thirsty. Stop. Oh no, it can wait. 
Sorry. She's thirsty for the captain. What do you need? Goddamn girl. Yeah, I'll give her the shotgun. Holy shit, that's a huge damage difference. Um, Jameson's over here? Oh, wait, hold on. Why are there... What quest am I on? Oh, this is the quest to specifically get the research that Gladys is interested in and in stealing it. This is what I want to do right now. Oh no, rescue Jameson. It's all separate side quests. That's weird. Oh, I passed it, of course. Stop laughing at me. It's not funny. Yeah, I'd love it if there was a machine gun version of this pistol. I keep forgetting that there's a uh, dash. But it's like side to side and back. and No forward, though. It's kind of weird. Oh god, what the fuck was that? Don't mess with us. Yikes. Oh wait, no. Look. Auto mag. Oh, this is light ammo. Uh, hold on. Oh, this is so much more damage. But I'm gonna lose that energy effect. That's fine. Plasma rifle? Hey, Felix! How would you like a new gun? There you go. Yeah, that's the plasma. That's the pl uh, rifle version of that pistol. There we go. It's less damage, technically. Uh, but it's a rifle, so it's automatic. Actually, they were both rifles. What am I talking about? Oh, why is that so much better? I think I'd rather just have him have straight damage versus the chance to incinerate. And are these even worth keeping? Well, this one isn't for sure. Just how do I drop this? Oh, I can break it down, I remember. Oh, you get weapon parts for breaking them down. Okay. So I should start picking up all the weapons. And then break down the one break down the ones that are not worth selling. Like the light pistol definitely isn't worth selling. Some of these melee weapons might not even be worth it. So what are their melee weapons at? 145, 120. Uh 108, okay. Yeah, let's... Oh, shit, that... I didn't even check the value of that. Fuck. 14. 44. 47. 50. Oh. These really aren't worth it. Even the, the machine guns I have. Yikes. Shit is, like, really... Like, <laughs> not valuable. Um... So maybe anything under 30 I don't take. Okay. It really does seem like stuff just isn't valuable at all. That's gotta be where Mr. Jameson is. I'm guessing even these really good weapons I have now are kind of shit. Alright, let's go find him. And assure him to him that he's not been abandoned. By us. His... His boss probably forgot about him in completely. Oh shit. Shh. Be very, very sticky. There's a fire there. Is there a way to deal with that? Let's 
gonna steal everything. Oh god. Uh, lift locked down. Hallway door is unlocked. Okay. I don't care about the lore. Not for this game. Hey, look! My kind of door. What are you talking about? Ah, it's not worth it. Um. Why is always bring it to this inventory? Why are there robots here too? Oh, he's upstairs. Okay. Free stuff. Don't mind me. I do need to, at some point, uh, look at my consumables and sell some of it. Because some of it does weigh. I think the... Um, what is it called? The the main healing one? Adrena time? Um, this one? Or Adreno? Uh, that one... Doesn't weigh... It does. Oh, they all weigh. Yeah, I need to get rid of some of this. It's also probably a good idea to every once in a while eat some of these. Especially right before combat, for sure. Show me that pretty hot spot. It's just like in the worst spots. Like I'm shooting the robot in the dick. It's like, yeah, it's straight up shooting the robot in the dick. Oh, right, there's like explosives all over. I could have just blown them up. Oh, fuck. Get wrecked. Oh, right, that like concusses them. These are tougher, they're Mark IIs. Show me that robot dick! I mean, what? I think Parvati died. You okay? You're okay. Uh, nobody clip what I just said. Please. That's outside. I guess a better analogy would be robot balls. Fourteen, seventeen. You worth selling? No. Wrong gun. All right? Yep, we're good. Yeah, I really need to find a lot of ammo for this machine gun. I guess I didn't buy any from when I went to, or when uh, before I left Edgewater. I could have bought all that ammo. Oh, wait, no, did I? I did, yeah. Never mind. I didn't buy anything from the Groundbreaker, though. I should go there and get whatever ammo I can find there at some point. Because this, this light machine gun's going to burn through ammo like crazy. So if I stare at that, will it show me the details? No. Oh, I think, I think this is the place where one of these terminals tells you about Earth. It, it mentions Earth briefly. Um Help! We're coming, Mr. Jameson. Hey buddy, how's it going? What? How the hell did you get in here? Uh first I shot the raptodons, then I walked up the stairs and <laughs> No, not the... I don't care about the beasts. I care about the front door. This is an egregious breach of protocol. How'd you get in? Uh Anton sent me. 
Ugh. Can't use the centrifuge without supervision. Can't file reports without him double-checking their every word. Can't save myself from mortal peril. It's like he thinks I'm a You child. were locked in this room. His hands-on management style is coming to a point of contention, I tell you. Okay. He's upset. Uh, you're upset that he sent me to rescue you? Take it up with him if you like. Now go. Before more rap raps find this place. Please. That man doesn't have an altruistic bone in his body. I just happen to have the metabolic precursors from our last test. I'd wager my last bit that if you brought back the precursors and left me for dead, Anton wouldn't bat an eye. Bet? You want to do this? Actually, this isn't quite true. He said he'd look... He, it looked bad on him if more of his employees died. Well, mm, I don't think that'll make him any better. Hand them over, then I'll test your theory. <laughs> Whether he gives a shit about you or not, at least you're alive. Now let's get out of here. Actually, this is... I kind of want to... Honestly, I want to go for all three, but I don't know which one. Fuck Wonderful. It. That's Yeah, I figured better. this wouldn't I'm getting convince out him. here so I can personally thank him for his compassion. Right, stay safe. Alright, goodbye. <sighs> Wait a minute. Did he have the research? <sighs> Talk to Anton. No, Anton's research is still over there. I think he had results for one of the experiments, but not the whole research. Um, there is still another room down there that I could go loot. Ah! Uh, my legs! Pocket watch. Well, that requires no hacks. Wow, I didn't require any of those uh, hacking tools, and I got a bunch of them in there for free. Nice. I think because I have a high enough hacking skill, I don't need to actually use the tools, the mag pick or whatever it's called. Why do they have a lot of explosive items nearby? That's a little concerning. We've already been here. Where's that room? Over here. What does this lead to? Oh, this big ass room. Okay. We're done here. Let's go get that research. And by let's go get that research, I mean, um, I'm going to get to the, to the place and, what, halt, oh, is that a robot, yikes, uh, let, let me get the one that's over here, I think one of these is in one place and the other two are in a separate location, yeah, that, that's where the two are, let me get the schematics here. At the old lab. Um, and then end the stream after that. I'm definitely not going to get to do all three missions today, sadly. But I'll get most of the way through this third one. Tomorrow I can finish this. Oh, yikes. Oh, shit. That was a mine. I didn't see that. Okay, here we go. Any bad guys here? Maybe inside. Oh, workbench. Storage facility. That's a disturbing sight. <sighs> Jesus Christ.
Oh. Right in the back. That's the last of him. Are you sure about that? Let me get rid of some shit here. Okay, those are not worth it for sure. Those as well. Shotguns are good. The rifles are also good. Right, I got some good ammo for this now. Somebody died in here. Yeah, a bunch of people just died in that other room. Food. I just grabbed something called bread noodles. Pasta pack. Bag of tobacco, tobacco ears. Uh. Yikes. Why is space food like? It all sounds awful. Purple Berry Crunch. Oh. Well, somebody get the owners of Futurama on the line. I, I don't know what I just picked up. Okay, that was just another exit. Light ammo? Hell yeah. I think we're actually going to the basement, but I'm gonna loot the whole place. As much of it as I possibly can. Why is it so loud? Why isn't this hurt hurting you? There we go. I don't think that works on the robots. Okay, gotta be careful with this ammo. It's kind of hard to find. Another grenade launcher. What does that sound? Is that the sound of me healing or something? I think it is. Miserable way to live. Okay. Nothing else in here. I think it's just the basement and that's it. Oh, there's stuff up there. Ow, my ankles! How does basement? What does that sound? I don't like that. Plasma carbine. Ooh. What is this? That's different. Oh, that's way more damage than what Felix has, I think. Is that a rifle? It's a long gun. But is it a rifle or a shotgun? I don't even know. Is there differentiation? No, I think a shotgun would say shotgun normally. All right. Have fun with that. Oh, God. I sure would love some new machine guns for me. Or heavy weapons. Here we go. Hello, Silver Wolf. How are you doing? Nobody in this damn town knows Thank how to you for clean joining. after themselves. 
Uh, maintenance logs. Uh... Shit. Here I, go. I. Did you just miss? Such a waste of ammo, holy shit. I need to improve this skill quite a bit more. I gotta take advantage of these explosives. There's all they're all over the place. Okay, um Detailed drawings of an advanced pistol. Revisions and comments are scrawled across the image. It is most likely uh, an illegible writing except for some name. Orson Shaw scribbled on. Okay. Schematic depicts an a... What the fuck is this? From a brand named Force, which is not native to the Halcyon colony. It is unclear from these plans that a... What a... I'm not reading that. Does... Hmm. All right, I'm stealing that. That's for sure. These stupid scientists don't even know what's about to happen. I'm going to take all their research and sell it on the black market. So I don't trust random ship captains. Try, I tried to play Party Animals, but it's too hard to play. Oh, yeah. That game looks like fun, though. Oh, God! Looks like we're Ow! Ow! Alright, okay, you guys need to handle that guy. Get wrecked. I don't think that does anything to, like, mechanical stuff. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Oh, that almost hit. Oh, I must have a weak spot. There you go. You better not blow up. Good. You're not like a Securitron. You guys alive? No, okay. Okay. That gun is cool. It's like a charged up rifle. Hell yeah. Um, you're lacking. What does this guy have? Where's the body? Actually, yeah, where are all the bodies? I don't see them. Alright, here's one. Um, okay. I almost broke an ankle there. Let me get to the lab then. And end the stream there, most likely. Someone clip that part in slow motion. <laughs> no, that's fine. It wasn't that that wasn't that cool. I mean you could do that very easily. But it would have been cool if it hit. It just didn't. Are you placing a mine? Oh, one hit. I gotta stop using this thing. This ammo is very hard to get. And expensive. Oh, there we go. Some of that ammo back. Oh, shit. I need to get, like, this. I think there's a slide ability. Oh, God. This guy's way higher level than me, aren't they? Oh! Ow. I'm gonna get that concussion flaw. Heavy ammo. Yeah, their guns don't always spawn. Yeah, I'm gonna get that concussion flaw. Fuck, I'm low on ammo here. I just need to buy, like, every bit of ammo I can find. 
and vendors. Ladder Alice, yeah, I, I'm glad you joined. Thank you so much. See you later. Uh, come back tomorrow for more if you want to see more. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Is that a danger noodle? That was an insta kill. Um, yikes. That was a thick danger noodle. That wasn't a danger noodle, that was a fucking danger egg roll. Jesus. That scared me. Uh, let's see, anything to scrap here? Yeah, Parvati, your rifle, or you have a shotgun technically. Hold on. Let's get you something better. I mean, it's got high damage but low range. That's the problem. Oh, I'm guessing because you're near me all the time. It kind of hinders your ability to do long range damage if you have a shotgun you're technically a melee character but that's fine okay let's put some more perk points in or skill points I guess Yeah, let's level up that machine gun or the heavy am uh, weapons. Wait. Oh, Gladys. Oh, shit. I went the wrong way. Fuck. I didn't notice that. Because now I have one of the things that, that Gladys is interested in. I could just leave now, but there's still more. I don't think she's going to give me the full 10,000 if I only come with one thing. I think the point is you get all three and she gives you t the 10,000, which is... Well, she'll just give you the nav key, essentially. Or I could do other shit. Uh, we'll do it. Uh, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. I don't know what time zone you're in, but yeah. 5 p.m. Central Standard is when I start normally. Again, thank you for joining. I appreciate it. Was this the same one from earlier? I don't remember that light being there. Um, Abduct me? Probe me? No? Okay. Damn, I was almost all the way to the main research station. Oh, this is different. Got it. Heads down. Wait, Outlaw Striker? Oh, God. Is this like some higher level character? Right on. Okay, you're on the West Coast. Got it. Yeah, so 3 p.m. for you then. That's kind of cheating, honestly. Because she just suddenly appears in front of that guy. You're going down. Hold on, let me get some consumables in me. Uh, more natural healing. There's some that also increase. Oh, companion ability cooldown reduction? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, I think I already ate one of those. And then... Um, that's for snipers specifically. Oh, there's better ones that last longer. Okay. I need something that increases my base health. I know there's some like that. God, there's so much more. Holy shit. Increase armor rating. Plus one to body. Sure, why not? Uh, mind attributes. Okay. I'll save that for another time. There's some... There it is. Organic, vegan, handmade, gluten-free, dairy-free, nut-free. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's fucking Felix. I think I just killed, almost killed Parvati. Knock him 
I think he's dead. Light assault rifle. That's a different type of assault rifle. Ooh, earrings, necklace. Hell yeah. All right, I'm just I'm gonna get inside and then well, quickly let me organize my inventory here. But there's a lot of shit here I don't need. That's a different bandit faction. So there's oh god, I hear another danger egg roll. Um. Yeah, I guess there's different ver different factions within the overall raider groups. I think there were more of them. Were there not? That might have been all of them. I did blow up a good chunk of them there. They had like shitty weapons, so I don't think they were that, you know, strong. We're just gonna walk in? I mean, it's a secret right on it. Listen. Look at this place. Shut it's up. Like some kind of tomb. Let me delete some of this shit that's not worth selling. Well, I won't be going inside. It doesn't matter, really. Uh, I think I have it unlocked now, so I can come back. 180, so the other rifle's better. Uh, because I... will probably play off-stream a little bit to sell some shit, do some side quests, whatever. Get the other companions. Uh, but I will not do anything related to the main source. I won't do anything here on, on, this, pla <gasps> on this planet. Unless if it's uh, not related to the main quest here. Uh, I saved, right? Yeah. All right, and that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I had a lot of fun with this. Like, this was... That was this was enjoyable. And I'm definitely going to probably play another playthrough in the future. Uh, we'll do the other ending, the board ending. But for this playthrough, we're going to stick with Phineas. Um, and I'll be continuing tomorrow, like I said. So come back at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time for that. Please leave a like on the, on this live stream. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. Um, watch the latest The Long Dark video if you haven't already. A new lore video came out yesterday. I would greatly appreciate that. Anything else? I think that's it.